Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is Venice. And in this episode, we have an exceptional opportunity here to do a lot of damage to two whole Prussian armies. And we have a bit of artillery we need to worry about, but apart from that, we should be grand. We've got plenty of reinforcements that are able to come in. Um, let's make sure that it is uh, not conscripts that are coming in to reinforce. Actually, one unit of cavalry might not be a bad idea. Um, I've got a bugged unit of hussars, actually, that seems to have picked up a uh, <laughs> picked up a figure of co a conscript figure to uh, base itself off of. But let's get cracking. I may have to push some cavalry outside of the fort to try and take out their artillery, but that may not happen until after they have made a breach. Otherwise, uh, otherwise we may have to just endure their fire and just destroy their forces in the field. So we know they've got plenty of cavalry, so I'm going to want to put stakes down once they breach. Um, we want to hunker down in the centre. Let's get ready. So we've been asked before about how do I know what direction the enemy's coming in from. And it is because of the direction or that the camera is facing once you load in. At least that's where the enemy initially is going to start. So, it was facing this way, so I know the enemy is effectively going to be over here and over here. You know, generally it's going to be over here, with a little bit over here, but it's effectively these two walls are the main focus. So that's why I do make a point of keeping my... If I deploy my troops outside of the wall like this... Oh, come on, why are you not doing it? Okay, so I know oh, I don't get stakes, sadly. Well, I suppose it's because we have we're not under siege; we have intercepted them. Put some great engineers down here; they can place some stakes. Make sure all the walls are covered by regular line infantry. Actually, I've got a super unit of infantry here. Another bugged unit. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Marines, Grenadiers. They're going to hold in the center. I may keep some cavalry outside of the walls. Because you've actually got a lot of... We have a lot of infantry here. So that means we can cover the the walls quite comprehensively. And it means that if they decide to come around to attack my hussars, um, we can shoot them down as they come through. Our artillery is going to wait to see where they where the enemy intends to breach. The howitzers can just form up and open fire. My general get inside. It might take one unit of line infantry. Okay. So my howitzers. Okay, actually they're going to fire a round shot against the enemy howitzers. So they're going to... They are breaching this section of the wall. Actually, no. I may as well make my... How it's fire quick line. Whenever you get these instances where the enemy just keeps ratting, ratatatting their drums rather than actually um, forming up, just use, just um, turn off fire, fire at will. So here's where the enemy reinforcements coming in. That's quite useful. So my engineers play stakes. Position my artillery roughly where we're going to want them. Oh, actually no. Okay, don't don't run out. I don't want to keep the don't want the gate to be open. Okay, there we go. So the howitzers are able to quick climb. Actually, I'm, I'm going to unnumber you guys a minute. I think I want my. I generally like positioning 
my line, my infantry quite wide. Yeah, I'm going to need to make some space. This section of the wall is also going to be vulnerable. I might actually put both my units of artillery... Nope, halt. You were about to fire. Put my howitzers at the back, out of range. As soon as they make the... Well, yeah, they're focusing on this area here. Keep my general... So lots of this fire, these fire at will shenanigans will go away when they've got an enemy to shoot at. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up needing to. Do the same. Yeah. Once my howitzers are out of the way. Okay, I'm limber. Just let them make their breach. Foot artillery could limber. See, now my howitzers have unlimbered the massive crew, the massive bugged crew. have changed their objective. The carcass shot away, hitting the grenadiers. And a big whiff. Okay, those howitzers can continue to try and make a... Oh. I thought that might be a worry. Okay, let's get these guys out of there. I suppose any misses from here could also cause a problem. Okay, enemies under fire from the town. For the most part, they are waiting to create... For the most part, they want to create their breach before they push, which is fair enough. Carcass shots doing that's more like it. We're gonna we're gonna keep on firing at the enemy. Okay, pull my troops away. So that's one unit that's routed, a unit of engineers. We need to stay close enough. They continue to try shoot it. They seem to shoot at units. So, I mean, at some point, they'll start to hit here as well. There we go. So, they've made their breach. Oh, that's an excellent hit against their grenadiers. This unit should, in theory, should come under fire. In theory, okay, I think my howitzers really now want to focus on their 24 pounder howitzer battery because they are in a dangerous position. Especially if they're going to start quick climbing my troops. We're doing enough damage over here, we don't have to worry about it. Dispatched a cavalry unit. Looks like they are starting to unlimber. Irregular how it's a fire. If we miss, we might kill the general if we're lucky. Yeah, a large portion of their infantry have been pushed away. Okay, 
Here comes their cavalry fire. Regiment of horse is charging in. They're going to get picked apart by troops inside the buildings that are ready to fire. Grenadiers. So they'll take the centre briefly. Okay, they can take the... If they take my gun battery, that's fine. Again, I think the problem is it's not it's just not as concentrated, I suppose. Regiment of horse falling quite rapidly. There we go. Marines get back inside. Gunners reman your guns. Advance you men forward. Okay, yeah, this isn't going to work. I need to push up closer to the breach. Pull some men off the walls. Uh, power to crew, don't get involved. My cavalry, my big cavalry unit has to come in. Yeah, my, my pocket I wanted to create was too wide. Chug. Best to do with these howitzers trying to get out. The howitzer crew trying to get out, and my cavalry trying to get in. I had to bet. They charge the general's bodyguard in, which is risky. Okay, Marines. Get over here. Let's get my hussars back outside. I mean, if it, unless it's just these Marines freaking out trying to attack the engineers. Have their militias under fire. I mean, it's curious why it's chugging. Okay, give my give my mortar crews orders to recrew their guns. I mean, it's got to be this, right? People trying to work out how to get in. They're trying to work out how to get out. That area is damaged, but not crazily so. Okay, we're firing into the into the breach. You can also try to kill the general's bodyguard, just in case that's what's causing the problem. Hillary ceasefire. Okay, yeah, it must have been the general. The general's bodyguard was causing problems. Starting to push up the wall against us. OK, 
Okay, you men are reloading. Advance. All of those horse horse teams are running away. Okay, so I've over compensating now. Something like this should be adequate enough. Keep the carcass shot falling on the breach. This unit. Eh, key power, it's shotting their artillery, I believe. Just keep picking at them. Be careful about that hole at the back. Okay, this infantry can go here to prevent any units from flanking. The line infantry, they've already routed. Okay, right. It started going a bit crazy, but now we're now we're back in control. Switch to round shot. Let's start hitting their cavalry at the rear. Those dragoons have just they've dismounted. Yes, they are. Okay, keep picking away at them. More artillery. To the rear. I'm not sure why this, these gates aren't closing. Oh well, all our artillery is still firing. It looks like they're trying to engage this section of the wall. Yep, they are. You men man the fire step and begin engaging the militia as they push in. Just keep hitting their cavalry at the back. Good hits. They have a general's bodyguard in here, so if we're lucky, we might hit them. Whereas now, here comes Lanvin militia. As they advance in, they're going to just start engaging them with the musketry. There they go. Shattered. More Lanvin militia, although they're going to be fired upon by the 29th Regiment. Yep. They get a bit of cover from that outcrop. First horse guards are broken. I might bring my hussars out to play. I mean, they, they can't. They can't really. Well, they, they might be able to fight against some of these heavier, larger, heavy cavalry units. But although, to be honest, I do like the the bait they provide. If they can get some cavalry to charge down like this. They'll be fired upon by all of these men on the walls. The militia. Yeah, the militia are broken. my men on the walls. Here comes a unit of engineers come now. Down to 71, guard to core. Yep, if they don't uh, if they don't push, my house is just going to keep chipping away at them and slowly get more and more accurate. Are they going to try to scale the wall? Yeah, they are. Interesting. Interesting. Perfectly reasonable strategy. He's been firing a little off because I don't want them shooting at the, the wall. Let's slightly balance these out a little bit more. A 
engineers are wavering. Yeah, they stood up to it. Bring more line infantry over. They're bolstering their engineers with additional militia. Engineers have a foothold on the wall. So they are withdrawing to beyond the range of my howitzers. In which case, switch to Kark shot, begin attacking their infantry. Sending more men up the walls to be slaughtered. And they're filling them up with militia instead. The men now fire at will. Infantry in the wall. Classic. Ceasefire. Keep engaging. The engineers are retreating. Uh, Trippers, they're shooting artillery at this section of the wall and it's causing their men to be very upset. Oh, it's a unit. Carcass shot the 6th Regiment because they're right in front of you. Good shot. Go off. Don't upset them. Excellent. You men take fire step and they're going to engage the 17th. Oh, no, get out of the way. So, right now, everyone's engaging the 17th, although the 29th will be doing a lot of the damage. Although, my howitzers may attack the enemy artillery. It looks like they don't want to attack with their cavalry. Hello. Some of their 2nd Battalion Guard Regiment are going to try and scale the wall. Man the fire step. Yeah, it looks like the enemy just refuses to attack. They want to commit their commit their cavalry, which is what we want. And they're they're refusing to take their position on the fire step. Rose fire a volley to the Bosniaks. Form square. Charge in. There's enemy square. They hid for a second there, but not for long enough. My line infantry are very upset. Charge the 10th, hope my light horse don't break. 
if they do break they should come back because there's loads of them just an absolute swarm of cavalry chase them down until they are destroyed it's a no-brainer the 17th regiment are trying to or want to attack the wall Let's begin shuffling some men around the walls. Yeah, apart from that, they do not wish to risk their cavalry attacking the wall. So we're going to keep shooting their artillery. I mean, I'm just going to speed this up then if all they're going to do is just if all they're going to do is sit back then I'm just going to let them do it because then they're going to lose the battle and they are going to get quite badly um, quite badly damaged as soon as the battle ends some of my artillery is bugged so it's not all firing Hey, there we go. Engage the 5th Horse Guards. They're going after my cavalry, so let's keep them behind cover again. Okay, actually, let's hit their actual cavalry. If they're going to march within range, it would be foolish to not take advantage of it. Although, oh, they've changed their mind again. Just gonna be firing round shot because round shot's perfectly fine against cavalry. Who's that? It's the Brunswicker Regiment. You guys have run out of ammunition, so. Actually, no, here's not a bad position for you. They've got mortars, but they're out of range, so the only thing they can do is quickline their own troops. The 8th Regiment are wandering into the killing field. Oh no. Well, they've already been broken. They'll probably come back. But eventually, they'll just run out of troops. They're going to run out of troops before my troops run out of run out of um, ammunition, that's for darn sure. These layers are going to charge somewhere. These men are going to pour musketry down onto the fusiliers. Yeah, there's no way in that way. You have to go this way. <laughs> yeah, you can't get in that way. No, 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 no. That doesn't do anything there. He's AI. The Brunswickers are now going to march through the front entrance. Yeah, there they go. They're not coming back. Okay, the cavalry is now advancing into a position where it can be attacked via carcass shot. And if they want to do that, then let's take advantage of it. Their infantry will advance in in due course anyway, so we may as well focus on their cavalry, which is already quite weak. So if they do decide to charge in on mass, then we'll be able to retreat, we'll be able to break them quite quickly. Oh no, 33rd are going in. No, they're coming out. I mean, I think Prussia didn't really <laughs> Prussia didn't really intend to attack us. And now that we've we sallied out and we've forced them we've forced the issue, they're suddenly going, ah oh, nuts. We want to do something. The air wants to try and win, but right now they have two choices. Either withdraw or die. Oh, here comes the 33rd, but they've been broken again. 
Lances are in poor shape. So in terms of cavalry, a couple of kills, not a huge amount. So this is where artillery is MVP. Because these howitzers can just do constant damage to the enemy. <laughs> Even when, when they're just running around going, oh no, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Until they decide, okay, the only thing there is to do is attack. Then they charge into this killing field. And get broken. And hopefully they lose a couple more horses and then, then uh, are shattered. Hopefully. No, not enough time. So let's hit the horse, these, this horse guard regiment, or try to. Engineers, Grandig, yeah, it just... Maybe try the engineers, they're a slower target. Well, well. Let's keep one unit. Picking off their heavy cavalry. Do you still fire your? You're still firing your guns? No, you're, they're out of range for you guys. But the fifth regiment, I mean, yeah, the fifth regiment have two. Only two of their guns are up and firing. Same with the eleventh. It's only two guns. Yeah, right. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when something interesting happens. So, see you in a second, everyone. Well, the enemy decided not to do anything else. So, at least nothing particularly interesting except for run around outside the uh, the walls. So, oh well, either, either way, their entire force gets damaged because of the loss. So, we, what we see is that, yeah, they lost... 4,100 men out of origin the original force of 5,300. So, that's not good for them. No, sir. Line infantry doing really... Obviously, this is the one that was on the walls. Yeah, they're not going to do too much in the next engagement. But that's a lot of damage to troops. Quite a nice gain. That's quite a nice gain for us, really. There we go. So, they made the, they've made the uh, smart decision to not do that again. Ottomans are swapping their forces around. Russia's being Russia. We will soon be one turn closer towards that precious quicklime. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We've also got to go fix our garrison force in Naples. They're probably going to push across to attack Tunis. I don't want an alliance with the United States. No, I do not want to get involved in any more wars than is absolutely necessary. I've got plenty on my on my plate right now. I do not need any more. Fifteen thousand nine hundred. New town emerges. Niels in Serbia. Craft workshop. Okay, let's repair these buildings in Hungary. Let's make sure that my army in Naples is fully replenishing. Let's make sure my garrison in Austria is fully replenishing. Actually, I might even pull... Or not necessarily pull them out, but just combine my weakest units into other formations just to minimise their recruitment burden. So you've got two spaces. You can take two infantry units from Hungary. Here at Serbia. Well, right now, Mr. Komin needs reinforcement, although he is going to lose a unit of militia. And gain a unit of howitzers. Yet this force, they are just a, a, a force to block any... Um, Polish Signore, offensives. Sono parci in un 
Servo vostro, signore. Okay, replenish. Okay, I think if I recruit, yeah, one more turn to a bunch of elite infantry. That'll be great. But really, I suppose what I could do with is just a lot more infantry to garrison here and then springboard out. Three more turns to a quick climb. Naples has been upgraded. Okay, I'm determined. I'm keen to not upgrade Naples quite so much, considering that they are now at risk. Adding a little bit more to turn wealth with these farm upgrades. Maybe upgrade the one in Istanbul, because they've still got another turn, another town to grow. Adrianopol. What about Ankara? No villages. Aswan is growing. Where are you? Are you right at the bottom? Yeah, there you are. Your farms are fully upgraded. Okay, I'm not worried about these guys running around. See? Avanti! Although, to be fair, Pronti, you are. Aglio. You are a potential army to go. No, you're, you need to replenish. But then you're not terrible to be sent out on the offensive. Signore, i vostri ordini. Especially if I combine these two armies, sinistra, these two ordini, units. Signore. Avanti, signore. You advance forward just to act as a bit of a bit of bait. You push towards Prague. Could potentially take it, but that we'd be quite vulnerable there. We need re we need lots of reinforcement. Lots of enemy units are stuck in this spit of land. If we could cut control that bridge, that'd be really big. Actually, that might be what you do. This force. Although bridges can be tricky. In theory, if we control the bridge here and we don't get attacked from the north, i.e. we kill this guy, any army that comes this way, we can intercept and destroy while they try cross the bridge. However, Rome can be a bit awkward at times and have them come in from different directions, especially if the enemy has multiple armies. So that's, in theory, a really interesting idea, but in reality, a really dangerous one. So this army is just going to replenish inside the city and hold. I mean, I may just attack Breslau just to get it. Although, you could do with another howitzer, but you can't really get it. This infantry unit is going to run back to Hungary. So it can be retrained. You're doing quite good. You're just pinning down a whole army in Breslau. That's fine. You could engage these armies. Hopefully you bring in this one. No, just these two forces. Fight it manually just to minimise our losses. I'm going to send my conscripts in first. They can take the hit and then I'll combine my conscript units and then reinforce. So ultimately, I'm looking to uh, reduce my dependency on conscripts for the time being. Although they could be a good garrison unit for Breslau to the east, while the main army swings west. It's actually not a bad idea. Either way, conscripts lead the way, because the enemy army is sufficiently small. My line infantry is not likely to be needed. Just set up my armies ready to chase down and pursue. Okay, maybe not you. Actually, you can go with my general. Focus on the, the Lancers and the Bosniaks. Then we can surround and destroy the Light Infantry Guard. Their infantry is not going to get clo get here fast enough. I'm 
advance forward at speed. Then we can surround and destroy the light infantry guard. Then we can surround and destroy these musketeers. There we go. Killed their general. Excellent. Run in. I'm reposition my line to face off against the new enemy. Oh no, they came back. Bombard. On fifth regiment, engage in the flank. You men give them a th an enemy threat head on. Come on, the artillery must break them. There we go. Ceasefire. Excellent. Kill a line unit of line infantry guards. Excellent, excellent. Kill this last couple of guys. Nice. Blitz artillery can engage. There is another unit behind them somewhere. Advance up at speed. There they are. Guerrilla mercenaries. General and other cavalry run up. Artillery engage the guerrilla mercenaries. Same with the howitzers. I'm gonna pull, I might speed this up actually. Damn right, continue. Kill them all. Well, I suppose really I should have let them come in closer. Rather than engage them so close to the edge of the map. Either way. Those are some pretty tasty and efficient losses for the enemy. You lost 29 men. Back you go. So you can advance. Reinforce. 3,000. Prague's under siege. They're immediately going to be very upset. It's Prague's, Prague's besieged. Yeah, you're ripe to garrison Breslau while this army pushes north. But we do need to just churn out infantry now here. You're here as a counterbalance to prevent the Spanish from feeling like they can... Whoops. So they don't feel that they can push on us with any great confidence. You're still reinforcing. I'm going to upgrade the iron workshops to an iron master's works. Because right now, Naples is still my most valuable region. It's overtaken Venice. It's more than Greece. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just my, it's brilliant. It's doing really well. Growth is still a bit smaller than it could be. Recruitment upgrade. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Oops. That's fine. Three turns to quick climb will become two turns to quick climb.
Britain's declared war on us, as to be expected. Let's try calling our allies. Let's hope their their enemies, their allies haven't joined them. But at least we now have an army in Venice that can respond to any attacks. We have an army that's just on standby in Venice, ready to fight against any potential incursions to our west. Spain's probably going to go pick up an army. Or not. At some point, I'd like to, I'd like to take Milan. Um, You have attacked us. That is fine. I will fight that. A lot of artillery. So bear in mind, wherever these guys come in, they are not the main focus. So we're going to fight that cavalry unit. Well, that cavalry unit is directly ahead of us. In theory, the enemy garrison comes in from the east. From our east. In theory, Empire is notoriously dodgy for that kind of thing. So in, really, I'm not going to deploy my the bulk of my army, really. Like here. Just, okay. Not terrible. In theory, they come in over there. Which isn't terrible. Let's deploy my howitzers. My field artillery can stay in position. An initial deployment of infantry is ready to go down. But I'm also gonna hedge my bets and see if they come in behind us because that's a famous that's a favorite of the AI as well ah! classic and that, I mean that is classic AI So classic AI. It's unreal. Come in, my regiments of horse to get into the fight. Foot artillery. Try go here. You're just going to be a bit of an anchor to them. You get out of square so you men can form up. Let's try to run these men through the gap. Like my carcass shot's just going to keep on. Okay, let's refine the targeting to be here. Howitzers and limber. Just bog down those cuirassier guards. Run my line infantry behind them. They're going to drop into square. Foot artillery. Okay, you guys are going to be... Excellent. Well, I got a lot of infantry. I don't. Not really looking at my ca the cavalry fight right now. Artillery. Slam your shells in right there. Gendarmerie, Lancer guards are involved. Okay, now let's try this. Form a square. Run my cheapo infantry through that. More carcass shot inbound. You men form square. Infantry form up. 
and the cavalry over here ready to intercept some of this horse artillery. There we go. They've gone into the square. Some of my infantry are running. That's really unfortunate. New man bayonet charge, the Swiss Grenadiers. The artillery just keep slamming shells down roughly in this block. They should come back. They've not lost many men. Kill the enemy general. Just don't rout to you men. There we go. Splendid fellows. <laughs> Enemy cavalry there is going down fast. Carcass shots doing its glorious work. There goes the enemy grenadiers. Advance through the line. Warm up. <laughs> there we go. You can never, can never, ever, ever, ever trust the AI. You just immediately thought, right, they could come in from behind us. Because there's only... Because there's so few enemies ahead of us, you know, it made sense to deploy all my troops in a bit of a reserve position. Redeploy my cavalry. And then now we just... Get free kills. Make sure everybody, all of my infantry here at Fire at Will on. A lovely overlapping field of fire. Carcass shot coming in. Took a chunk out of these fry corps. Although that might be it. No, that's not it. The second light foot. Right core coming in. Thinking, oh Jesus. God. <laughs> Quick, everyone. Form up. Carker shot in. They fired their volley. Superior line infantry has lost 20 men. They've not even entered the fight yet. Oh, horse grenadier guards. Yeah, they got such so alert. Shell detonated here. And it killed a bunch of cavalry back here. Horse and grenadier guards. They're going to pop off the volley before they route, for sure. Although, because they're cavalry, they get shot at whenever the men are ready. Go. Fire their volley of God. <laughs> Beautiful. I bet they don't appreciate those QSCR guards coming in now. Yep, they have got very few men remaining. And the garrison have decided, you know what, we're going to make hay while the sun shines and we're going to sally right into you. Very well. So this is why we needed to mass recruit infantry in Austria. We need to push them north, reinforce this army when it's done. Because once they've, they've lost, once they lose um, this territory, they've lost a significant portion of, the, of their capacity to make good their losses. So we're going to form up and advance. We're not going to sit back. They have, art they have a decent amount of artillery that will do damage. So my foot artillery may likely stay on counter-battery tasks while my howitzers engage any problematic infantry. My cavalry will deploy on the flanks. But we do want to... Uh... Okay, right. I think I want to advance over to here.
I think my howitzers are also engaging the artillery, which again is fine. Their infantry position is weak. And the main thing is to keep an eye on any cavalry charges like that. Once our line's formed up... Oh, yeah, there's one horse artillery unit routed. Howitzers attack the guns that they can directly see. No, foot artillery attack the guns they can directly see. Howitzers attack where they have to lob shells in. We're going to slowly destroy the enough buildings to get us within range. Here, losses are accepted. We can combine a lot of this line infantry together when our elite reinforcements are done. Okay, let's push forward again quickly. some of our infantry aggressively, our conscripts more aggressively still are still around the back. Okay, there we go, that provoked them. Oh, it's to start to attack the infantry mar infantry blobs. Push my regiment of horse in against the Fry Corps. Hold this unit in. Light infantry are very upset. Once the 28 spins, they'll be able to do a lot more damage. Okay, let's shatter the light foot just to make sure they do go. Excellent. Swiss Grenadiers have charged into us. We're not going to run straight in because there's stakes. Killed the enemy general. We're going to start engaging their artillery crews with musketry. Swiss grenadiers are upset. We're going to wait for them to route past this unit, then we're going to attack them. Now let's fire around, shot at the line. Artillery crews have abandoned their guns. Kill that. Just that. There we go. Just those Swiss Grenadiers. Then withdraw. The light foot are in a very poor state. Gendarmerie. Excellent. Okay, advance. push you guys up here. Start to push through the town. My general and my regiment of horse are better than their gendarmerie. Yeah, my regiment of horse will beat their cavalry. Their cavalry is like the most benign. I think it's almost some of the most basic cavalry you can get your hold, get your hands on, but that's not itself terrible. Human storm into the Grenadier Guards. Give my infantry orders to charge the artillery. Give this infantry support attacking the gendarmerie. Otherwise, just, just run them through towards the guns. Cease fire the artillery. Is the last of the horse grenadier guards. 
They are shattered. Push my heavy cavalry forward. Or push my regu my cavalry forward, I should say. Hit the line infantry. Give them a bit of support following the charge. Enemy artillery is going down. Gendarmerie could be. Yeah, they're destroyed. He effectively killed himself. Excellent. The line infantry has gone down. Turn guard mode off. Excellent. It's the enemy artillery destroyed. Yeah, we're going to continue. Although you're not going to chase them that way. Okay, you chase after the mercenaries. You guys chase after... Garrison guards. Until you're no longer able to, then you're nice, 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 nice. Want some more, dear? 170 men remaining. The garrison at Breslau is going to Sally, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more decisive action against the Prussians. Cheers, everyone.